Hi, uh, my name is John Kwok. I'm a director of business development at OE Solutions, and I'm gonna explain about a new product that we are introducing to the market, uh, Smart SFP, and I'm gonna talk uh, with the title "Bringing Intelligence to SFP." Smart SFP is a, a product that uh, OE Solutions and Aim Valley have teamed up to. Uh, develop it together. Um, it is basically uh, putting um, a link OAM and service OAM feature into the SFP. Uh, we are naming this product Gigabit Ethernet Smart SFP and uh, this product uh, increases the network performance management and SLA assurance capabilities. Uh, as you can see in this picture, um, this picture uh, summarizes the functions of a smart SFP very well. Um, it is a, a conventional SFP, as you s uh, see in the picture, uh, but uh, these blocks uh, with the color uh, basically indicates uh, the functionality that we are adding to the SFP. 802.3AH EFM, uh, 802.1AG CFM, Y.1731 and uh, remote DDM. Uh, as mentioned uh, in the bullet items, uh, Smart SFP is a conventional SFP if the user chooses not to implement it. Some of the value offerings that Smart SFP uh, brings to the uh, customers uh, it reduces the cost and in installation of OAM features, um, so reduces the uh, capex uh, expense and also remote troubleshooting is capable uh, so it reduces the maintenance cost and uh, basically this uh, SFP is a zero footprint uh, for um, implementing OAM features it significantly saves the rack space and by having all these and uh, having lower power consumption it offers lower uh, carbon footprint. Applications. Smart SFP can be used in many different applications. Uh, some of the examples are shown here. A mobile backhaul, telco wholesale, broadband access infrastructure and backhaul, and for business access, Ethernet. Uh, for people who are not familiar with OAM functions, I would like to give some background information. Uh, first of all, uh, Ethernet demarcation. Uh, Ethernet does not have a clear demarcation point, and uh, that actually makes an obstacle uh, to become a carrier grade. And by having Ethernet demarcation, uh, it provides separation between the carrier Ethernet WAN and enterprise land. Uh, it's explained here uh, in the picture and the demarcation point uh, can be implemented by NID or NTE. NID is a network interface device and NTE is a network termination equipment. So by having this demarcation point uh, you can have a carrier Ethernet visibility on carrier Ethernet network side and uh, customer network side and uh, this enables the testing and monitoring of both networks and the NID functions uh, can be uh, in standalone device mode or it can integrate it into the first mile transport device uh, or uh, in the CPE equipment. So what is Ethernet OAM? Um, it benchmarks existing WAN technologies and Ethernet OAM feature is a key differentiator to make the network carrier Ethernet great. Uh, two versions that we are introducing uh, in March 2012. Um, first one is EFM. It is a link OAM based on IEEE 802.3AH and it monitors the link operation. It uses the slow protocol frames called OAM PDUs and it actually stays within the link. 
uh, it does not go beyond the link and the picture here shows the simple link uh, between the carrier Ethernet network edge and the demarcation point in the uh, customer premise. Uh, key functions in EFM are OAM discovery, link monitoring, false signaling, and remote loopback. And some of the OAM events are link fault, dying gasp, and critical event. Then the second version of Smart SFP uh, is based on CFM and it is end-to-end -end service OAM based on IEEE 802.1AG and ITU Y.1731. Uh, as you see here, uh, there are two customer premises at the end of the services and between these end-to-end -end connectivity uh, with the OAM end-to-end uh, -end service OAM you can detect, verify, isolate and report uh, connectivity faults and uh, this one is implemented in regular Ethernet frames in band and the key mechanisms are shown in this picture and the protocols implemented in our SFPs are continuity check and loopback so, so how does Smart SFP work? Um, basically, our Smart SFP takes a role as an NID. Uh, the picture shown here uh, is a typical uh, setup for demarcation box. So there is a connection between a uh, metro core node and the demarcation device. And then the connection is between demarcation device and the customer edge equipment. S <coughs> So by having our Smart SFP, you can replace the demarcation device in the middle and Smart SFP itself works as a demarcation device. And it can plug right into the customer uh, edge equipment and um, it integrates uh, OE conversion, which is a, a typical uh, functionality of SFP. Uh, but we do have a protocol function on top of uh, uh, OE conversion in a single SFP. Because of this, um, our Smart SFP uh, can be offered in many uh, different flavors. Uh, basically, it can be offered in all our gigabit Ethernet products, uh, namely 500 reach from 500 meter all the way up to 80 kilometer. It can be uh, uh, provided in both single fiber version as well as the dual fiber version and um, uh, it can be also uh, implemented in both gray optics or CWDM optics. So graphically I wanted to show here uh, how Smart SFP works. So for EFM uh, link OAM case um, <coughs> Smart SFP uh, once it gets plugged in, it can uh, OAM can be discovered automatically, and it does uh, monitor link. And also, once you lose the power uh, on the customer equipment side, you actually uh, get the signal back into the network, uh, which is called dying gasp. Uh, this can be differentiated uh, from fiber cut. Uh, it is uh, indeed a uh, power of failure uh, in the equipment side. Also uh, for uh, DDM uh, functions, typically it is only available in the local level, uh, only on the board, uh, whereas Smart, uh, uh, on the board that SFP is located, but in this uh, Smart SFP, uh, you can actually access the DDM information from remote side. So it is a uh, uh, with the remote DDM functionality. Um, so carrier Ethernet network side can pull the information uh, from the smart SFP, and all the information in DDM A0H and A2H uh, can be accessed uh, from the remote location. <coughs> this picture shows end-to-end -end service OAM. Um, basically, uh, it does uh, sends out the continuity check signals, CCM signals, uh, to each other. Uh, it can be set uh, in a desirable uh, interval 
and uh, it basically checks the heartbeat uh, of the uh, connections. Also, uh, it can uh, have a loopback function from one end to the other. Then I would like to compare uh, our Smart SFP uh, to some of the competing technologies in the market. Uh, as I have explained, uh, we are uh, introducing two different versions of Smart SFP. First one is a Link OAM, and the second one is a Service OAM uh, Smart SFPs, and both versions do follow uh, standards. Uh, Link OAM follows IEEE 802.3AH, and Service OAM version follows IEEE 802.1AG and ITU Y.1731. Um, in our uh, Link OAM case, you only need uh, Smart SFP in customer uh, equipment side. Uh, you can just have a conventional SFP on the other end. Um, there are two different computing solutions in the market. One is using an ASIC technology, uh, which does not follow the standards, and also uh, another uh, solution uh, using optical modulation and that basically has only the DDM and the dying gas function. It does not uh, follow uh, 802.3H. And also in that uh, solution you do need to have uh, their version of a smart SFPs at both ends. I would like to wrap up my presentation here. I would like to thank everyone for watching uh, this video. And for further information on our Smart SFP, uh, please contact our website www.oesolution.com or uh, come to www.smartsfp.com. Thank you.